Hello friends, welcome to C programming video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing tokens of C language. We understood that smallest unit of any programming language is generally called as token. I also told you to remember the shortcut C kicks OS. C for comments, K for keywords and data types, I for identifiers, C for constants and variables, S for strings and characters, O for operators and S for separators. I told you that we are going to discuss each of these tokens in detail step by step in these video tutorials. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss comments in C language. What are comments? Comments are something like nodes in the code. Comments are used to explain the code logic so that we can be able to understand the code later as well as other developers other team members can be able to read and understand the code easily comments are used to increase the readability and understandability of the source code what's the purpose of comments comments are used to explain the code logic comments are used to increase the readability and understandability of the source code just assume that you are working in a team and you have built a complex project you have written a lot of code for that project after five months or a year later you come back to the code and try to understand some part of the code trust me it is very difficult to understand the code logic without comments so it is recommended to write comments in the code you have to explain each and every part of the code logic that makes your life easy comments are used to document the source code for the documentation purpose, we use comments. Two important notes to remember. Comments are ignored by the compiler. Comments do not affect the execution of the program. Remember that comments are completely ignored by the compiler. They are not executed. Comments do not affect the execution of the program also. There are two different types of comments provided by the C language. They are single line comments and multi line comments. Two forward slashes indicate single line comment forward slash star and star forward slash indicates multi line comment single line comment anything written after two forward slashes in the line anything written after two forward slashes in the line is treated as a comment multi line comment anything written in between forward slash star and star forward slash is treated as a comment note if we don't want to execute some part or parts of the code we can comment them so that they can be ignored by the compiler. We know that comments are ignored by the compiler. So we can disable the execution of some part of the code with the help of comments. Let's have a demonstration and understand in detail. I'm going to minimize MS Word. I double click on the code block shortcut to launch the code blocks ID. You can see that the code blocks ID got launched. I'm going to create a new project by going to file, say new, click on the project. I select projects, console application, say go. I say next, select C language, say next. I select the folder to save the new project that is all C projects folder. I select say OK. And then I give the project title as comments demo. Then I click on next, say finish. You can see that comments demo project is open in the projects panel. I click on the plus sign, double click on main.c to open the file. I zoom this content a little bit so that we can see the code properly. I'm going to select this line of code and say delete because we don't want that code. We know that when we build and run the program execution begins at the main function. The printf function displays the hello world exclamation mark on the console and the backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line. When I say build and run, you see hello world exclamation mark displayed on the console. I hit enter. I'm going to copy this line of code. I paste two times. You can see that I have pasted the code two times. When I say build and run, what happens? We know that the program execution begins at the main function. And this printf function displays hello world exclamation mark on the first line and moves the cursor to the next line. The second printf function displays hello world exclamation mark on the second line, moves the cursor to the next line. The third printf function displays the hello world exclamation mark on the third line and moves the cursor to the next line. If I say build and run, you see hello world exclamation mark displayed three times, one below another. I hit enter. Now we discuss comments. 
To indicate single line comment, we use two forward slashes. Anything written after two forward slashes in the line is treated as a comment, right? Here, I just write a notes. Here I say printf is a standard output function. This line of content is treated as a comment now. This is going to be ignored by the compiler. And also, the comments are not going to affect the execution of the program. If I say build and run, you see hello world exclamation mark displayed three times one below another. There is no change in the output. I hit enter. This is how we write single line comments. I can write one more line of comment if I want. I say here forward slash forward slash. And then I say printf accepts a string. Now this line of content is also a comment. If I say build and run, you see hello world exclamation mark displayed three times one below another. There is no change in the execution or the output. These two lines of content are ignored by the compiler. They don't get executed actually. So comments are used to explain the code logic. They are something like nodes in the code. We can write multiple lines of comment with the help of forward slash star and star forward slash. I can write comments. For example, here I go, I say forward slash star and star forward slash. Whatever we sandwich in between forward slash star and star forward slash is treated as comment. Remember that. Here I say author. Author is Manjunath Chidre. And then I say the purpose of this program is to display hello world exclamation mark three times. So you can write comments like this. Now this part of the content is going to be ignored by the compiler. If I say build and run, you see, hello world exclamation mark displayed three times. There is no change in the output. Comments do not affect the execution of the program. Comments are used for the documentation purpose. Comments are ignored by the compiler friends. Remember that. As I told, we can disable some part of the code if we do not want to execute. For example, I want to disable this line of code. All I need is I need to make that line of code comment. So I write here two forward slashes. When I write two forward slashes, we know that anything written after the two forward slash in the line is treated as a comment. Now this code is disabled. This is a comment ignored by the compiler. Only these two lines of code are going to get executed. We see hello world exclamation mark displayed twice, one below another in the console. If I say build and run, you see hello world exclamation mark displayed twice, one below another. We don't see three times, right? I hit enter. If we want, we can disable multiple lines of code also by using forward slash star and star forward slash. Anything sandwiched in between forward slash star and star forward slash is treated as a comment. Now these two lines are also comment. So we don't see any output in the console. If I say build and run, you can see that we don't have any output there. Comments are ignored by the compilers. And also you can see that comments are grayed out in the code blocks ID. I hope you guys have clearly understood what are single line comments, what are multiple line comments, how do you write single line comments, how do you write multiple line comments. So remember that comments are something like a notes in the code. Comments are used to explain the code logic. Comments are used to increase the readability and understandability of the source code. Comments are used for two purposes. One is for the documentation purpose and another one is to disable the code. There are two different types of comments we have. Single line comments and multiple line comments. Two forward slashes indicate single line comment. Forward slash star and star forward slash indicates multiple line comments. Comments are ignored by the compiler. Comments do not affect the execution of the program. So for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we get more information on C programming tokens. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.